Hello and welcome back. My name is Chris and today we're going to be talking about Transformers Agent. This is a new tool from Hugging Face. It is pretty incredible. It's kind of like a, you know, natural language interface to a bunch of different tools. It's it's pretty similar to Langchain in kind of, uh, you know, a grand sense of things, but ultimately it is a large language model, which is what they're calling an agent here, that is going to make some decisions about how to do your task based on provided context, okay? So first things first, the LLM is the thing that gets to make the decisions. Now, what that means ultimately is that LLMs that are really good at in-context learning and generating very good small chunks of code are going to be excellent at these kinds of tasks, right? So they're gonna be a great agent. That means something like OpenAI's models might be better than some of the open source models right now since OpenAI's uh, model suite is very well adapted to in-context learning and it generalizes very well across a wide variety of tasks. So you're likely to find success with it. Now, again, it doesn't have to be. You can use something like StarCoder uh, or StarCoder Base or StarCoder Chat, perhaps, uh, but you're going to find that the OpenAI model does work the best out of the box. What happens is that you have this set of tools that you your agent is allowed to leverage. Now, these tools are something that can be either set up by you or just come along for the ride in the Transformers library. Each tool is a atomic piece of functionality. So it's a thing that does a thing, right? So, it, you know, get an image, you know, process an image, text to speech, you know, we, we can see these here uh, in the examples. But the idea is that it works really well if it's a, a tool that does a job, a single job at a time, right? We provide in this prompt, both our instruction, as well as this list of tools and what their capabilities are, and then we pass that to the agent. We say, hey, agent, could you please build me some snippets of code that will let me do the task I want to do, right? So in this case, read out loud the content of the image. Well, first of all, we have to get the content of the image, which is the image captioner tool, which you can see here as well as here. And then we want to use TTS to actually read that out loud. And again, we're going to use the text-to-speech tool. The agent is essentially going to generate these two little snippets of code that let us do that thing we want to do. And that's it, right? I mean, that's what's happening. Now, there is this piece here where this is arbitrary code execution. It's not really arbitrary code execution. It can only actually execute a very limited subset of things. So it's not like it can do anything. And if at the very worst, you can just go ahead and ask it to return the code so that you have to run it instead of letting the agent run it. Uh, but again, you know, you know, this is not just going to let your Python interpreter do whatever it feels like. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's built with a lot of very simple, straightforward safeguards in place. There are a bunch of tools that Hugging Face is releasing with, but... You know, one of the most powerful features of this is this custom tools section, which is where, you know, Hugging Face is letting us build our own tools that can interface with the agent, become part of its workflow, right? So we can teach this agent to do new, fancy, and awesome things, and it's very straightforward to do so, as we'll see in an example. And uh, yeah, that's about it, right? So this is an incredible and fantastic set of tools released by Hugging Face. And I just want to show you guys how unbelievably easy it is to use this. First of all, you'll notice that I'm on a base collab environment. So this is not the pro. And, you know, while I did get into the, uh, you know, the orange uh, resource usage here, I didn't max out or peek out at any point. And we'll see, I've run this whole notebook, right? First things first, we do want to make sure that we get the most up-to-date transformers as well as supporting libraries uh, this is a new feature it is beta it is going to change so make sure you're keeping up to date with the most recent version of transformers in order to uh, you know make sure you're, you're able to take advantage of this 
Uh, we also have this play audio helper function, which is just to let us play audio in the Colab environment. It also gets you to log in with uh, your Hugging Face token so that you're already, you already have that done. We also have uh, our selection of agent. Now, again, you can use Starcoder or you can use Open Assistant. For this demo, we are using OpenAI and I've modified it to use GPT-4. Uh, by default, it was using DaVinci. But again, this isn't, you know, this is the idea that the agent is the thing that makes decisions. It's not actually executing the tools, right? The tools are just executed in Python, but the agent is the, the brain making the decisions, right? So we're, again, we're letting this agent be as powerful as possible and just seeing what, what it can do. Once we have that set up, this is how easy it is. It's agent.run and then we can generate an image of the boat in the water, right? So let's look at the actual code to generate our agent. It's just agent equals open AI agent and then we plug in the model and the API key, right? So, okay, so we have two lines of code and we get this beautiful picture of a boat, right? Now that's not surprising to be clear. I mean, it's it's hugging face. It's a it transform is a fantastic library. You can do this with a pipeline in in two lines of code as well. Probably less to be honest with you. And, you know, that doesn't make it incredible. But when we use this can you caption the boat image and then we pass the boat image using this parameter of you guessed it, boat image. We get a boat on the shore of a lake. And this is the same thing. So imagine that you're new to Hugging Face or you're new to the Transformers library or you're kind of new just to Python, right? Already in three lines of code, we've done two completely different tasks involving machine learning that you didn't have to think about the implementation of at all. This is an incredibly powerful tool for people who are new to AI who are new to ML, who are new to this whole, you know, amazing new technology. And I got to give Hugging Face huge props because this is fantastic. Again, we're, you know, the idea is the more people who understand and can use AI, the better. And this is a tool that lets basically anyone. And again, we're doing this in a normal collab environment. And this lets anyone get right into using uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning to achieve their task. Now, we're going to look at a slightly bigger example. So we're going to generate an image of a boat, and then we're going to read out loud a description of that image. And then we're going to play the audio. This is the helper function again, just so that Colab can do it, because Colab's not very, uh, you know, doesn't play well with audio out of the box. We need that little helper function. Um, but... Let's look at the actual code this time, right? So the code that's generated here is image. We generate an image. The prompt is a boat. We get a description, which is the image captioner. And then the description is, we print the description. And then we use the text reader tool to read the description. And then we get this. A white boat is traveling across the water. There you go. I mean, you know, it's incredible how easy it is to use this tool. I didn't, uh, you know, cherry pick examples here. It's just this good. We also have one of my favorite things, which is this one, right? So we have read out loud the summary of hf.co. So it uses this text downloader tool to get the text. Then it uses a summarizer tool to summarize that downloaded text. And then it reads the summarized text. I mean, we'll listen to it for a second. Hugging Face is an AI community building the future. More than AI organizations are using... It's wild because this is exactly the way someone might use a tool that's just come out, right? Like, they're, they're going to use it to figure out how to do tasks. Like, you know, can we just download a website and, and then get a description of it? Yes. Yes, you can. Why not? You know, welcome to, to Hugging Face. And I mean, this is the, the, the power of this tool, again, is how accessible it is, how easy it is to use and how much that opens up the space for people who are, you know, even, even people who are just barely technical are going to be able to grok this tool. They're going to be able to understand, you know, okay, so I just ask what I wanted to do in text and then it does that for me. Great. So let's look at the chat mode, right? So now here we have 
this idea of a chat, which has uh, memory across different, uh, you know, chats. So we ask it here to generate an image of a cow. It just uses the image generator tool to do so. It puts some stuff on its ears. I'm not, I don't know what's going on with that, but this is definitely, this reminds me of a cow, so good enough. And then we have this tool, which is transform the image so that the cow is wearing a hat. And then boom, it just slaps a hat on that bad boy, right? So, I mean, this is the, we, we didn't have to think about it. We didn't have to do anything. We just asked it and then it willed it to be so. And here's the thing, it uses the image transformer tool. And now we can ask it, show me a mask of the hat, right? It uses the image segmenter. And then it says, hey, you know, find us where hat is. And then boom, we get hat. This is it, right? This is all you have to do. It's incredible. So uh, I built a custom example here using a custom tool. So this is a, a, a few lines of code that will get us a random Magic the Gathering card. So here you can see we have acorn harvest. If I click the play button here, it should generate a new card that isn't acorn harvest. Let's see what it is. It's command beacon, right? Cool. All right. Now we can build our custom tool, which is as easy as just extending the base tool class, adding a name for our tool, describing what the tool does in natural language, right? So this is a tool that fetches an actual image of a random Magic the Gathering card. It takes no input and it returns the image of a card. We have our inputs being nothing and our outputs being text. And then our call for this tool is just doing exactly what you saw above here. We, you know, we call it and we get a random image of a card. Isn't that great? So we can just see it in use by clicking the play button on this uh, tool here. And we get blind with anger. The sweet looking samurai guy, two swords. That's pretty dope. And now when we set up our agent, which again is just using HF agent here, and we're using the additional tool of being just tool, uh, which is in this case, our custom Magic the Gathering card, random card image retriever tool. It's <laughs> a lot of words, but it is what it is. This time we are using just star coder. You know, we, ha we say to it, hey, fetch an image of uh, Magic the Gathering card. And it does that. It uses our tool, right? This is our tool, MTG Image Fetcher. So it knows that MTG Image Fetcher is the best tool for the job. So it gets us our picture. And then we can ask it, hey, describe this card. And the description is the card, the card for the card game, the sword is not in use. I mean, that's a bad description for sure, to be clear. Um... It is a card for a card game. And while this isn't a sword, it's it's not in use, right? He's just hanging out with this sweet spear. But that's how easy it is to make a custom tool. Obviously, this is a very simple case, right? But you can imagine any amount of complexity here as long as the tool is relatively atomic, right? You, you can imagine, imagine a pipeline that's a little bit more extended than this. Or imagine you have a set of specific algorithms that you're going to use. You know, you're you're like, uh, actually for segmenting, I'm going to use SAM, right? So I'm going to use segment anything from meta. And, or imagine I'm going to use stable diff XL or whatever it is, but you have the ability to tune and choose exactly what this thing does. And in that sense, it's very modular, just like Langchain, but it's so easy to use because the way we're interfacing with this tool after the initial setup is just natural language. And it does all of these tasks out of the box. In any case, this is an amazing tool. I really encourage you to check out the collab. I really encourage you to play around with it. Even if you've been in the game for a long time, like, you know, see what you can come up with this. See what tools you can put in this thing's toolbox and, and see what it does, right? I mean, that's the, that's the incredible part for me is that this tool was released today. We have no idea where it, where it can go, right? I mean, essentially, this is this is similar to kind of Auto GPT and Baby AGI from a few weeks ago and Langchain. This is another tool in the AI practitioner's toolbox that can really get you to do some interesting workflows. 
very simply and straightforwardly. So, uh, you know, build with this. Let me know what you build. And uh, thanks so much for, for tuning in. We'll, we'll see you in the next one. Uh, click the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you enjoy the content. And uh, yes, thank you so much for your time. And we'll see you in the next one.